So now that we've entered our route using simply the LAX VOR and the San Francisco VOR flying via the V25 airway, we have another button below route called legs. So I'll go ahead and press that now. And you can see that all of these waypoints that have been entered for us on the V25 airway are now displayed in this left hand column. We get some more information on the legs page. We get the heading to the waypoint and we get the distance to the waypoint. You're probably thinking, well, why have we got a legs page? Why have we got a route page? Well, the route page is for entering airways and it's very quick, as you can see, to plan the flight. The legs page looks at each part of the airway in detail. Let's have a look now at how we modify the flight plan. Now, at the moment, we're flying from LAX to Murma to Exert to VTU. Now, we should actually fly that because that's, that's a procedure to get out of LAX. But what we're going to do is cut the corner and fly direct from LAX VOR up to the Ventura VOR here. Now, this means editing the flight plan. Now, this is reasonably simple. I'm going to remove the Murma waypoints and the Exert waypoints. Now you can see over here on the CDU, LAX Murma Exert Ventura. I'm going to select the Ventura VOR and I'm going to press this button here, Line Select 2, and move it up to where Murma used to be. And what that's going to do, it's going to delete Exert and delete Murma. So the whole list shuffles up and these two are going to be replaced. So I'll press this key now. So you can see that Murma and Exert have now been replaced with VTU, Dino, etc. And you can see the existing flight plan is still active in the magenta colour here, but the new flight plan is entered as a white dashed line. So if I now zoom out on the navigation display, you can see that this white dashed line takes us all the way up to San Francisco. Now this isn't active. If I've made a mistake, I can press this button here called Erase. I'll press it now. The white dashed line will disappear and the flight plan will revert to the magenta flight plan. So I'll press that now. And you can see that Murma and Exert have returned. But I'm going to commit to it now. We are going to actually cut the corner and go from LAX to VTU. So I select VTU on the CDU and I enter it here. You can see it says mod for modified, it's a modified route. If I press the exec button, the white dashed plan becomes the active plan. So I'm going to go and press that now. And those two waypoints have now disappeared. That is now an active plan. Now let's uh, have another look at that. Let's say we want to fly direct from VTU up to Lucab. So let's go ahead and delete all of the waypoints in between the Ventura VOR and the Lucab waypoint. What I need to do is press the next page and look for the Lucab waypoint here, and here it is. I select Lucab, which is entered into the scratch pad. Now I want to sequence this so it comes after the VTU waypoint, but it's not on the screen here. So I press previous page. Lucab is still in the scratch pad. I want to fly there after VTU. So I want to enter that here on top of Dino. Now you can see if I zoom in on the ND, the white dashed line appears again from VTU all the way up to the Lucab waypoint. I press execute and all of the waypoints in between have now disappeared. So you can see you can step through the pages in the plan and remove waypoints. Let's say I've made a mistake and we actually want to fly via Exert from LAX. I know Exert's about here. And then to VTU. We're going to insert Exert into the flight plan 
and I want to insert it between LAX and VTU. Now to do that, we select the VTU key here and it will shuffle everything down. So if I press this button now, we go from LAX to Exert and then VTU to Lucab. Now you can see on the ND we've gone from LAX to Exert but something has happened. You would have expected this to fly from Exert to VTU but the computer double checks to make sure that you do actually want to fly from Exert to VTU. It doesn't really know where you want to fly next so what it inserts is this thing here called a root discontinuity. It means there's a break in the root. The plan isn't a continuous plan. There's an error somewhere. So it says LAX to exit then and it doesn't know where to go. So we have to remove this discontinuity and there are two ways of doing it. The easy way is to select VTU which I've selected here and move it up into these boxes here. So I'm going to press this line select key 3 left now and you can see the root discontinuity has disappeared over here on the ND it's joined excerpt up to VTU and I'll press execute. Let's say you don't actually want to do that and that was a mistake and you want to fly direct from LAX to VTU so we want to delete the excerpt waypoint and we do this by pressing delete down here on the keyboard so del for delete delete comes up into the scratch pad now it's not going to enter a waypoint delete this is a reserved word and we simply press excerpt and you can see now that we're flying from LAX again a root discontinuity because it doesn't know where to go next and the rest of the plan is as follows. So again we join up the plan by selecting VTU and moving it up underneath LAX into this area here by pressing this button. Again on the ND a white dashed line up to VTU press execute and the plan is correct. I'll show you another way of doing that so we're going to enter excerpt again and we want to move VTU up into here. Another way of doing it is to press delete and then this button here. That will delete the discontinuity. So I'm going to press this button now here on the left. The discontinuity has now disappeared. Execute and the plan is now LAX to exit to VTU again. Now root discontinuities only appear if you are deleting a waypoint or inserting a new waypoint. So if I now go ahead and delete excerpt, the root discontinuity appears because it doesn't know where you want to go next. So I'll press erase. If I enter the word murmur, enter it here. Again the root discontinuity because it doesn't know where you want to go next. But if you move part of the flight plan into another part of the flight plan, there will be no discontinuity. So if I move Lucab up into Excerpt, there's no discontinuity of the plan. Now I've made a lot of modifications to the original route, so let's have a look at the route page. I'll press RTE button. And you can see that because of the modifications, we're now flying direct to these waypoints rather than following the V25 airway. So you can see that V25 is still active from Lucab via V25 to San Francisco. It says page 2 of 3, if I press next it's empty because San Francisco was the last waypoint but this allows us to continue the plan and enter more waypoints as necessary. Now in the same way that the legs page had editing features so too does the root page. So I can say San Francisco and we want to go direct to San Francisco from LAX. So I'm going to enter it here. 
Now you notice that the white dashed line appears. We have direct to San Francisco. Execute. And it's the very simple plan that we started with. V25 into here and all of those waypoints are returned. So you can see that you can use these buttons here to enter new waypoints on the route page but have the ability to use the airways as well. When you're flying the aircraft you'll be using the legs page mainly and never ever touching the route page. So we now know that the route page is for entering data on the ground, legs page is for flying the aeroplane and also modifying the flight plan whilst in the air or on the ground.